Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. As always, guys, we invite you to join us on Patreon as little as a dollar a month or 90 cents a month when you pay for a year in advance. Uh, it does support the channel. It helps us to keep just pushing and putting so much time and effort into the videos and awakening the planet uh, as well as there are exclusives once or twice sometimes three times a week it all depends but yes guaranteed exclusive videos over there very clearly stated a little bit touchier subjects and a little bit more in depth at times so as always thank you for your support and uh, I caught up with Christoph yesterday as I was speaking about on, on yesterday's videos and he had a vision of an open window with uh, curtains kind of blowing in the wind. And it was winter time. It was cold uh, where he was looking. And he thought that this was symbolizing that the war has begun. And as you see here, the gate to the world war is opening right now is what he is uh, getting and he also kind of said that it's going to sort of sneak up on us um, it, it's already it is escalating we can see this it is escalating and th as he says here there's really no going back you know when, when we ask the guides again um, could World War three be averted what the guide said was that every uh, Kali Yuga ends and then going into the bronze age the, you always have a global war that happens so how many times has that happened that's that's the question and it was something i was thinking about this morning you know are we talking about in reality all the different possibilities with the parallel universes that lie on top of each other um it, it it feels like it's something that they're going to be able to trigger how long it lasts how destructive it is that's something that i think we have a lot of control over and i think it really really depends on how much we wake people up again sticking your head in the sand isn't going to really do anything uh i think it's it's illuminating it's 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 letting people see the bigger picture and it is coming from a heart-centered, compassionate place uh, that will change that. Understanding that, you know, what's happened in other countries that has caused people to become migrants, immigrants, uh, and leave everything just to try to find something better. How desperate people must be to do something like that. And then us here in the Western countries... You know, we've we've felt the impact of, of, you know, what we would term foreigners or strangers coming into our society and everything is changing and it can feel very, very uncomfortable. We should have compassion and understand that they are being manipulated just like us. And at the same time, recognize some of those are going to be used uh, to directly attack us, attack us at the same time. It is absolutely a tricky place to be in. Oh, it is. It's definitely very, very tricky understanding that we're kind of like frogs in, in boiling water, and we have been for a very long time, uh, having our rights slowly taken away little by little, you know, under cover of darkness when uh, the, the lights should be out. They're, you know, voting to take our rights away. And... There are some places that are doing really well as far as getting certain uh, laws into place and asking certain questions. So there's a few states out there that are doing good, and I think we need to support those states to the best of our ability. You know, you want to support your local, your just immediate area is what you want to support. Yes, absolutely. So again, if you haven't subscribed to Clear Seeing, check it out. It's the English translations uh, of a gifted Polish psychic. This is this morning. So this is again Valencia, Spain. This is this morning. It's flooding again. There's there's more rain coming in. Um, you know the world is waking up to I think the 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 scientific fact of geoengineering, weather warfare, which I understand the systems doing their best to keep down the tide of 
people you know spreading this information yet it is a tsunami that's that's just sweeping over as you see this particular post saying spain cancels a weapons deal with israel shortly after uh you have these floods and yeah true spain canceled a multi-million dollar weapons deal with israel and if you remember cindy was saying that israel feels very very cocky because they have uh, let's call it fallen uh, Anunnaki and technology, uh, EGG technology that nobody else has. And yeah, there is one system uh, in place on the planet full of egoic leaders that all want to be, you know, the top puppet. Let's just say they all want their place in, in the dark history annals. They're all driven by ego. So Yes, they, they will get at war with each other uh, from just the simple fact that they are what they are. They're self-serving, egoic monsters. And this is not the only one. Everybody now, <laughs> it seems, everybody that has woke up to certain other uh, things that have gone on that have been proven to be not CONS piracy theories, but just realities, Seems like they're all starting to catch on here. Massive flooding in Spain after France and Italy. Seems that all the countries opposing Israel in Gaza are getting punished somehow. My big realization was back as a teenager, as I was studying away at the Bible, and I forget if it was Isaiah. I don't think it was Isaiah. I think it was one of the smaller prophets. Um... But when I was reading it and, and getting this day of the Lord, I kind of got a vision. And the vision was alien uh, invasion. And I think I was more looking back uh, in, in time instead of looking forward in time. And it just hit me. And this is going back to like 82, 83. Oh, my God. It's all aliens. It's always been aliens. You know, so, I mean, I've known that for my most of my my life again going back to the uh, early mid 80s i i just and it was from the bible that i i really it clicked so you know here's concerned citizen as well more footage of the aftermath coincidentally completely unrelated spain just canceled that huge so you could see you know these these are people that have pretty good sized followings 674,000 followers on X and they get it you know this is Israel doing their weather control or at least that's what they feel which again it's in agreement with what we feel which when you look at when you look to the Bible and you realize you know oh God sent a flood and wiped them out or God tells them to go and wipe out this tribe and that tribe as as Moses is leading the people through the desert, really that desert is it's symbolic in so many ways um, because it's really about the system spreading out and eradicating any resistance on the planet, and it it goes beyond uh, the quote unquote holy land. It goes it goes beyond uh, what was Canaan, and you know again now is is being reborn as Israel and and the greater Israel that they have planned goes well beyond that we're talking the entire planet and we're talking uh really we're talking an extraterrestrial takeover as again the original words are are in the plural elohim uh the mighty ones the judges those that rule over humanity in in the fact that they took over the planet the wars of the gods as we were saying you know again it was good to see john levy say why don't you guys just read the hindu text because they tell you this it's an extraterrestrial invasion. This is why you have melted uh, cities. You know, again, this is the bigger reveal. Spain produced 32% of the UK's fresh vegetables, most of this grown in Almer Almeria's uh, greenhouses, which have just been wiped out by the storm. Coincidental? No, it's not a coincidence. This is exactly what happens. And this is what's laid out in the in the Bible when you look to judges and uh, kings and and we go into chronicles what do you see anybody that resists the system uh, you're going to be you know basically fighting weather warfare and you're also going to be fighting militarily and also there's going to be plagues this is just what they do this is what they do 
And this is an ET control system. That's the big reveal. It's an ET control system. And in, instead they get us giving them power and, and quoting them all the time. You know, well, people always, again, quote the Bible at, with the Bible in order to prove the Bible. That's inadmissible in court. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It, it, it really, really doesn't. But they're brainwashed and they don't have a clue. So, you know, again, you see this massive flooding, and it's not just Valencia, as you see in Roswell, and you saw Italy, more Italy. It's, it's oh, you know, it's not worried by about uh, <laughs> climate change, global warming. Oh, 44 scientists warned of the danger again. This is being telegraphed, and this would, uh, the shutting down of the AMORC, or basically the current that keeps uh, Northern Europe warm, that would be just, uh, that would be something that would make s areas totally um, uninhabitable for the most part. It would be like living up inside the Arctic Circle um, in, in an area that is going to be too challenging, especially if we have, uh, you know, some prolonged power outages. What we're seeing here is is truly it is it's historical it's church area it's mud flood it is technology uh, primarily and again there are natural cycles but this again is is just showing that the controllers of this planet have the ability to mimic nature but nature cares and the controllers they, they really don't care about us as you see this man risking his life to save two children and a woman trapped in there by the flooding i know i know i mean this is not something that god would do to to anyone i, I think we are far long enough in our path to understand that to understand that everything in the bible that they say is God punishing you is something that is a technology for people who <clears throat> for people who disagree with with the system and you know that can go all the way down to an individual basis too many people get very angry if other people don't simply go along with the narrative or don't believe how they believe so it's understanding your belief system making sure that it is flexible and you are open to learning. I think that's one of the wisest things I've ever heard is someone say, always remain teachable. Absolutely. And as we we're talking about, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers. I, I do think there are some real quotes from the real historical person, Yeshua Jesus, that ring true and that are real. And blessed are the peacemakers. Well, is Israel being a peacemaker? You know, is, is anything in the system being a peacemaker when you see what's happening uh, as far as the response to support people up in the Carolinas and, and in Tex uh, Tennessee as well? No, uh, because all the money goes to war. The system's not peace, peacemaker. It, it, it has nothing to do with peace. The system thrives on warfare. This is where so much of um, the focus of the system is. Iran at the UN. The inhumane sanctions and blockade imposed on Cuba by the USA for more than six decades represents the most unjust and prolonged system of unilateral measures over, ever applied against any country. Now, coincidentally, Iran and Cuba both are not part of uh, the Red Shield banking system, and thus they are made to be, uh, and neither was Gaddafi, you know, over in Libya as well, and how Hillary shrilly ca cackled uh, in her best witch imitation. You know, again, she would give witches a bad name. So much of the system would give that which has been labeled by the system as evil uh, a bad name because, again, the victors write the history and they write it from their perspective when you know they look at the original inhabitants of of uh, Canaan and and you know give you uh, well they must all be the offspring of fallen giants they must all be you know basically um, worshiping Baal and Malak and etc cetera, etc cetera, 
when it's actually you know the victors that are the ones that are actually doing all that it's upside down it's inside out but thankfully the world is catching on you know again this is more about people that are trying to go against um, the monetary slave system and not give in to the monetary slave system this is how they be they they get pushed outside and they get ostracized and they try to bully them into submission um they do this a lot it's just really their common pattern and once you see it you can never unsee it uh, the thing is, is to stay open to understanding so you don't get caught up in, in the system because the system loves to teach other people how to go about using the system. And it, it's very predatory. And, and I cannot state that enough, how predatory the system is. And it's, it's a lot of gaslighting. And I think as human beings, we see uh, examples and we you know apply them in our lives and sometimes that's very subconscious so many things that we do as adults are of a subconscious nature and we learn that from parents that were also maybe lo love us a lot but very dysfunctional dysfunctional priests dysfunctional teachers dysfunctional parents and we have to really guard against that if we are to break out of this paradigm and we cannot lose sight of that we are moving up in frequency and that's painful it's an awakening and a realization you know these are psychopaths that are in all the top positions um and yes they are absolutely diabolical and more people are waking up and saying i don't want anything to do with the system that's what we were talking about yesterday in that other video you know longing for home because this feels so foreign to us the, that are awakening the star seeds uh the light workers that are awakening on the planet and and yeah it is foreign to us it's foreign to any from a higher density but at the same time it it's a choice we have to wake up and we have to shift the paradigm and of course we can't do that by staying quiet but at the same time uh, we can do our best to be an example and so you know here you see they're talking about the north korean troops that may start to engage uh they were talking about this weekend in ukraine and at the same time you have the u.s and nato preparing to send troops there's already u.s and nato troops in there there has been for a long time uh, there's many uh u.s and, and nato troops um that have have died I in action you know but what's going on now is a little different and this is what i think christoph was getting it it's the fact that we're going to realize hey you know this this world war is is officially go and it's on and at, what does that really mean well that means that there's nowhere really that's safe other than what you can do to make the area around you safe uh through your you know daily spiritual practice and then taking whatever precautions you you can the other part that christoph was saying was come spring and he was saying that come spring will realize that food right now is cheap and we of course have all been saying my god the food cost is through the roof well, he's saying what's going to be there in spring, the conditions that will be there in spring are going to make it like it's cheap food right now. So prepare as best as you can. And, you know, again, homestead as much as you can, garden as much as you can. If you can't, you know, again, connect with neighbors, family, friends, um, just try to build something that can augment you in these times. And if you're able to, again, have stores, food stores, and all basic supply stores. But realize, too, look at what happened in, in North Carolina, Tennessee, uh, what's happened in, in Florida, what's happened in Italy and Spain and France. Everywhere you look, there's these floods that could wipe it all away and this is also what the guides had given us if you do remember and i know all the regulars will remember going back to when the plague upon the land came they were talking about um people in mass migrations here in the u.s which is going to be caused by the you know <laughs> the weather uh warfare no way around that really 
um, and also the actual war. So, you know, we are going to have a lot of uh, internal migration going on. Here you have a statement, and this is again Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, um, that the U.S. is ready to back South Korea with nuclear weapons. Now, we've gotten that, you know, it, it is true that Hiroshima and Nagasaki weren't exactly what we what we thought they were. Uh, and in fact, it, it wasn't the N-word. Uh, again, we've gotten from the guides they will not allow that because it rips holes in time, space, and can affect people in other dimensions. Um, but again, they're going to mimic, and they have the rods of God, they have all sorts of dues, they have all, all sorts of technologies, and, you know, those uh, bombs that can literally suck the oxygen out of the atmosphere. Uh, there's a lot of things they can do to mimic it, and this is, again, something they've been telegraphing for a long time. So where, um, where is the safest place? It, it's truly in your spiritual home. Oh, yeah, definitely making that safe place in your own vessel, in your own temple. It starts with you. It absolutely starts with you. And we spend a lot of time working with people, helping them find their own spiritual practice because it's not a one size fits all. One spiritual practice may absolutely not work for a person. Sometimes people try on like 10 different spiritual outfits to see which one is going to work for them. But um, the, the whole point is, is to just find it. Start now. Start as soon as you can and, and start uh, just now. And here you have uh, alignment strike possibly happening in North Carolina. Nobody's working. So sorry, Asheville, we're not getting paid. It's been eight weeks. We haven't gotten a single penny. Yet billions have gone off to uh, death and destruction in Ukraine and Israel. As you see, you know, 420 more, five more million to Ukraine and nothing to get the power going, nothing, you know, to uh, help the people that have been so devastated. And this, this says everything you need, you need to know about the system. There are no good governments on the planet. There's, there, there are um, bad and then worse and then horrible, atrocious, you know, scented products like uh, so many candles, if you're buying cheap candles, they could have lead, and they could be putting lead up into the atm your atmosphere, which is then breathing, which is, again, going to cause cognitive and other health issues. Uh, this is talking about all sorts of things, you know, these Febreze, you know, from your laundry to those little things that go psst and, you know, you know, supposedly make the air uh, smell good. I think they're horrid. I think they're disgusting. They, they give me headaches. But as you get more detoxed, you'll, you'll start to recognize that little things can be huge triggers. Uh, they cause a lot of sludge in the lymphatic system, heavy metal overload. This is why we have such a big pl plague of, of cancers out there. It's, it's all sorts of things. It's not just one. Yeah, you know, there's a couple things that in there that are bigger than the others, but it's it's just everything piling on on top of each other. This is really, really bad stuff, and I didn't know when I was younger. I just really enjoyed the holidays because it smelled so good. You know, you go into some place like Michael's and not knowing that you're being inundated with heavy metals and things that are messing with your brain and endocrine disruptors. Uh, these are all really bad things. Trust Mother Nature. If you need that pine scent, go outside and find some pine cones. You know, get get that scent in your house. But do not get stuff. I, I mean, I won't. I don't like to tell people what to do. Sorry. Essential oils. But e essential oils can, can do good. But make sure they're of a really good quality. Because there are, you know, uh, bottom line essential oils that might have fillers in them. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a rocky territory and it seems so innocent, you know, just to have things just smell good. You go into Walmart and they have those bags of um, the pine cones that smell so good, but man, and the potpourri, like but that. that's so, that's not good. That's going to give you hormone issues. So that's the bottom line with that. You know, and you have to ask yourself, you really need to ask yourself, 
if one or two of these items are so toxic and we and we for the most part most people that had no clue about this for a long long time and then you realize all these things that we're encountering all day long are so toxic is it all really a coincidence the answer is no and and this by the way um, is okay cool they didn't blast us here uh, just another shining example, you know, of so much of our history has been hidden, distorted, and twisted. How didn't people really just question and say, why these are not kids? These are humans. Who are these? They're so big with the elongated heads, with the funny hats on, and why are they worshiping the sun? And, and just like the whole concept um, of sun worship, well... You know, in reality, again, the sun is a relay from source. So the sun is kind of uh, as close as we could get to that which is uh, of the original creator, like a, a straight, well, it's a portal for one thing, but it's also kind of like a straight communication line to the creator. And the light from the sun, obviously, they're blocking it purposely. Yes, yeah, it's, it's around Halloween right now. It is Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. Um, there are a lot of truths to legends of vampires and things like that. And really, when we recognize that the vampires have been in control of our, our planet the entire time, oh, it's a big awakening. Uh, you're the real vampires, absolutely. This is something that actually existed. And when we think about pterodactyls and you know the size of things in the past when the Earth had a lot more oxygen, Oh, yeah, you know, pretty impressive, as you can see. This is so much bigger than this man sitting there. Ah, quasi coatalus, quasi coatalus, northropy. Yeah, wow. This is an amazing uh, flying creature. Now, how intelligent was it? That's a big question because, again, it doesn't really have to do with brain size as much as they want you to think. Oh, no, they don't. And and then we have these, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, places where people just walk through and find portals and where do they go and where are they from? I mean, these are all things that were once upon our earth in a very, very real manner. And it was just common knowledge and it was common use. So a lot of stuff really being hidden from us, even to this day, things that we really cannot even fathom. Um, because we haven't been taught about them because they don't want us to know. So I, I do think uh, up and coming the channelers of this world who are bringing this information into the forefront are very important. And I, I think channelers are getting more, uh, more things right because we are headed back to a time where these items and these technologies actually existed and the closer you get to those timelines the better able you are to pick them up yeah again i think we need a little light in this darkness and as dark as it is it's always darkest before dawn and this is exactly where we are i i do think we are in the most challenging times these times that we're stepping into now are going to be the most challenging times i think that we have to hang on right now and recognize the Bronze Age is going to be just a spectacular age if we could get past. Um, it does. It's not going to be a golden age, but it will be a spectacular age in that so many possibilities open up. It's going to be an exciting time. The open acknowledgement, because they're not going to have a choice, uh, and the control system is not going to stay totally in, intact and in controlling the entire planet, or at least our portion of the entire planet. I should again correct that. No, you know, we're going to be living in uh, just such exciting times with so much potential. And don't think that your, your life is mostly over if you're in your 60s, 70s, 80s, or even 90s. Because the reality is your, your life has been... Um, artificially um, quickened, let's just say, you know, by the all the toxins and the poisons. Now, that's all coming out, so hang on. Hang in there. You know, this is going to be a little challenging period right ahead of us, but hang in there because if you can make it out the other side, I think so much could be reversed 
and you might have chronic uh, issues going on that truly can be reversed. Now, I'm not talking about med beds. I'm talking about nature. I'm, I'm talking about just when you start to remove truly all the toxins, when we start to really, truly start to clean the environment, when all the fake signals and everything that is accelerating the aging process is taken away, and then you add in the light coming from source and from the creator of this universe that is going to be triggering an awakening and is right now triggering an awakening in your DNA. Miracles will happen. The guides wanted me to get that across and they've you know, made it um, a priority to get across the fact that miracles are going to happen. They're going to be commonplace. But in reality, these miracles are just what is in us all the time. It's been artificially suppressed by the technology of the system. So I don't think we have to depend on the system to provide us with med beds or anything like that. I, I think, again, the healing is going to come from source and the real creator of this universe. Mm -hmm. We, you know, I think really our biggest challenge is figuring out how to work with one another, uh, regardless of what's going on, figuring out how to do a step around the system so that we're not copying the system. The system loves nothing more than to be inflated by having its little weanlings do exactly as it does. And we need to do something different, and we are, and we just need to stay focused. Look at this. This looks like a, a mountain of gold. And, you know, when you, when you see things like this, um, it can boggle the mind, and it looks so... Uh, just mind-blowing and, and you wonder what's really happening but but nature is truly amazing uh, as you see this from native red cloud man is the most insane species he worships an invisible god and destroys a visible nature unaware that this nature he's destroying is this god he's worshiping yeah absolutely you know when you look at this everything we see is is the mother it's the divine feminine it's it's the actual tangible material of this matrix the natural matrix that we are in and of and of course you know there's the the mother the divine feminine side and then there's the father side the divine masculine and you know we need to recognize that again we're spiritual beings having a temporary physical existence and as i was alluding to in the arts video uh yesterday i believe we are even more than the energy bodies. We're even more than the different layers of what we call the aura that we can see and measure and, and actually scientifically even photograph at this point in time. So it's, it's not conjecture, it's reality. And, you know, if you haven't caught that yet, and I know all the regulars get this totally, but that random person that somehow stumbles upon us, um, that the system somehow didn't keep... Uh, wasn't able to keep away from us and you've never heard anything that's not coming from the mainstream yeah absolutely you know we we are again consciousness we are not a thing we are no thing <laughs> but we are you know that whole phrase i am that i am that's 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 self-realization you are consciousness itself and you're even that consciousness is even beyond things like the different layers of the aura. It is coming from a place beyond this whole material realm that we can see. And, and when I say that, I mean even beyond uh, the higher densities and even beyond the higher self. Mm -hmm. You know, this sentence here, it says, unaware that the nature he's destroying is this God he's worshiping. It, you know, I believe that a lot of humans know that they are destroying nature but they are under some kind of a spell mm -hmm. it just doesn't matter to them it's like they know but they don't see it and that's really kind of a sickness of humans where uh, the cognitive dissonance can be so bad it's like I know this is happening over here by condition myself to completely ignore it otherwise I may have to change my whole frame of reference yeah it can't be uncomfortable look at this it's amazing when you look at this uh, incredible creature. It You could certainly look at it from one aspect if you look quickly and think it, it's angelic. 
And in, in so many ways, again, everything that's of nature, truly of nature, is of the angelic realm. Uh, there's a lot of beings that, that never come into a physical incarnation and stay on the higher densities. Again, in so many ways, they have us going and coming with their uh, theologies and, and all of their political ideologies. And of course, you know, <laughs> the, the medical system as well. All you need to do is look to the original Matrix. But anyway, have fun and have a good time out there if you're into celebrating uh, Samhain or, or Halloween. And then we have All Souls Day coming up again, depending on w if you're us utilizing any belief system. Yes, just enjoy yourself. This guy, uh, he knows he's looking sharp. Indeed. As always, guys, thank you so much. May you all be blessed and kept safe in these times. Namaste. Namaste.